Darren Sinefsky, graphic design professor, Meek School of Journalism and New Media, and today we'll be talking about InDesign and the Page Tool. The Page Tool works really well with um, multiple pages in one file in which the pages are different. So right now I'm looking at the project sheet for IMC 305 and the project sheet is telling me that I need to have one 8.5 by 11 piece of paper for the letterhead. I need to have one, maybe two business cards, whether I do a front and a back. I have one, maybe two envelopes uh, if I have a front and a back. <coughs> Um, but each one of these items is a different size. We have letter size, we have 21 picas by 12 picas, we have 57 picas by 25 picas. So how do we do that? So let's just say we have a three-page file. I'm not going to do a back of the business card or the envelope just for brevity's sake. So I'm going to go File, New, Document. Um, we're going to turn facing pages off number of pages will be three. Uh, we'll start them all off as letter size and we'll go with the default margins and then click OK. Okay, so if we go over the pa to the pages panel right here we can see that we have one, two, three pages and I can scroll down one, two, three pages. So the first page is 8.5 by 11. If we go back to the stationary set, there's our 8.5 by 11. So page 1 is good. So let's go down to page 2. If I double click over here, I will be brought to page 2. Anytime you see that highlighted in blue, you know that that's page 2. You can also look down here in this area and see that that's page 2, lower left hand corner. So I'm going to use the page tool to change the size of this. And so the next one is going to be the business card. And so I'm going to go over here and the business card is 21 picas by 12 picas. So that would be horizontal 21 by 12. You always measure width before you measure depth. So if it was vertical, it would be 12 picas by 21 picas. So let's go back here and I'm going to come over here to the page tool and notice that when I do that the handles show up around the page and up here is the width and the height so I can change this page to 21 picas by 12 picas. Now when we do this notice that this uh, 3 pica margin that goes all the way around does not leave us very much room for any kind of design. Uh, this 3 pica default margin should be changed. We'll go back to that later. So the next thing I'm going to go down to page 3, double click over here, and I still have the page tool selected so I still have the handles up. Uh, go back to the projects sheet and this is 57 by 25 picas. So let's go back to untitled 1 and change the width to 57 picas. Hit tab to go to the next screen, 21 picas and then hit enter or return and there is our envelope. So if you look at these they're not um, proportional they're proportionately correctly the size but not uh, from each other so you know that that business card is a lot smaller than that 8.5 by 11 and that envelope is a little bit bigger than that business card. So let's go back to the business card and I need to turn off the page tool so I'm going to go back to the pointer and as I said before, these margins are really, really big. And so I'm going to reduce those in size. Anytime that you're designing your business card, look at other business cards. See what the margins are on those business cards. Um, and that will help you in deciding how big you want your margins for your business card. So let's go up to Layout, Margins and Columns. And I'm just going to change this to one pica all the way around. Click OK. That's a little bit better. Uh, you can do different sizes. I just happen to do that one. Let's go down to the envelope and I'm going to do the same thing. Layout, margins and columns and change that to 1P and click OK. Alright, so now I'm ready to design my three pieces. My uh, letterhead, 
my business card, and my envelope. Thanks.